So in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to reflect points over an axis on the coordinate plane. So if you look at number one over here, there's a triangle that's graphed in quadrant one. And if you look down here for points A, B, and C, it gives you the coordinates of that triangle. So what it's asking you is to reflect the shape, that triangle in quadrant one, reflect it over the x-axis. Now thinking of the rules that we learned in class, when you reflect over the x-axis, your x-coordinates stay the same. Also when you reflect over the x-axis, your y-coordinate changes. So let's take a look at the points. If I look at point A, it's three, four. I know that the three is my x-coordinate and I know that the four is my y-coordinate. So since I'm reflecting it over the x-axis, I know that my x-coordinate is going to stay the same. So let's write that next to it. If my x-coordinate is three, it's going to stay as a positive three. If my y-coordinate is positive four, I know that based on my rules, I need to change that. So that's going to do its opposite, which is a negative four. And I'm gonna go ahead and graph that in my graph. So I'm gonna start at my origin, and I'm gonna graph my reflected point of three, negative four. So I'm gonna go over three and down four. And I can see already in my graph that my original point, if I jump over my x-axis, which I know my x-axis is the horizontal, if I jump over my x-axis, I land the same distance in quadrant four. All right, so let's take a look at point B. I know my eight is gonna be my x-coordinate and my two is gonna be my y-coordinate. So if I reflect my point over the x-axis, my x is going to stay the same which is eight, and my y-coordinate is going to change to a negative two because the original point was a positive two y-coordinate. So it changes to the opposite of negative two. So I'm gonna go ahead and graph that point also. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down two. Now since I have a shape that I'm going to be making, I'm gonna take those two points and I'm gonna connect them with a line. And again, you can already see that this triangle looks like it's being flipped into the bottom quadrant. All right, so let's finish our triangle and find the reflected point for 10, 10, or C. So if my X coordinate stays the same. I know my X is a positive 10, so I'm gonna keep it as 10. And my Y coordinate is also a positive 10, but it changes to a negative 10, which is its opposite. So when I graph that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then down ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now since I have a third point and I'm making a shape, I'm going to take my previous point and connect it. And since I have no points left to graph, I'm gonna close out my triangle. So just by looking at the picture, you can tell that this triangle in quadrant one looks like it was picked up and flipped upside down over the x-axis into quadrant four. So over here under my answers, I'm going to write my three points. So point A was three, negative four. Point B was eight, negative two. And point C, was 10, negative 10 after it was reflected. And then next to number one, it just says graph, which I already did in my coordinate grid.